this is a rare opportunity, it seems, these days to go out and hunt for a muley competition that really just kind of fits our hunting style. The muley bow special competition is running today, and that is a species that we have yet to get a trophy for since they added the new competition trophies. So we're out here on typical trails to give ourselves hopefully the best odds, and I've entered a couple other competitions that we can maybe compete for along the way. And starting off with what I would consider a pretty much average sized mule deer buck, 132, 155, and there's a bull elk walking up here I have not called once. It just happens to be passing through, and we've got the snake bite today. It is, I believe, the quietest bow in the game still. So if we can drop this buck, the elk might stay, and we actually have probably the least deserved Rocky Mountain Elk trophy ever. It was like we weren't even hunting elk, we just entered competitions. It was for like the heaviest one, and we shot one that in my opinion, had no business actually placing third, but it did. So that's not a competition that I even looked at today, but he spooked and that part does not matter. Spine and right lung actually kind of got lucky that we got into the spine there. 142 and currently has us in 30th place for the competition. They may not have been the biggest bucks yet, but I do have to appreciate the difference of hunting mule deer on typical trails versus going to Logger's Point. And of course, on any map, you'll get the occasional hunt where everything just kind of works out in your favor. But to just kind of casually go along and find mule deer bucks all along here, just in areas you expect them to be, in my opinion, that's just not always the case on loggers. You'll often get seemingly spawns where there's just a lot more feral hogs or a lot more pheasants. Timbergold does seem to be a bit more consistent, and certainly it helps having a setup like this. And actually, maybe that's something we can do today. We got that tent through doing the lunar missions last week, and I didn't think to bring it. We have a pretty full loadout today because of the various competitions we're in, but maybe we can find a place for that new tent? I'm not quite sure where. Likely up in the mountains. We entered a puma comp, so maybe by the time we go and do that, we can bring it along and set that up? Ooh, okay. So, not only do we get a mule deer buck, by uh, fast traveling here, there's a nice one standing right there. 185 to 215, I can't tell just how big he is, but relatively silent bow, we can hit him there. There's another buck, I think. Kinda average size standing over there, and that's not the one that called, I, I can't imagine. The call looked like it was about 200 meters away. That's at best 130, so I think we've got multiple bucks around. And that had been the plan the entire time, to kind of hunt around up where we were, and then fast travel down to this area. Man, if we were in a weight comp, 133 is a hefty mule deer, but 189 is not going to get the job done. I'm going to say, with the remaining time in this competition, we likely need a 215, maybe 220. And I think our odds on this map are good. Maybe one of the bucks around here are going to get us there. Well, I think that's the buck that grunted. 35 to 60, and there are a whole group of five here. And unfortunately, that one that we had spotted over there in the trees does seem to be the best. That little shaking thing that happened when we were looking up against the tree, that, for whatever reason, and I've never been able to figure out why, it seems to spook animals. So that's why he started kind of looking around all nervous, but got our shot off. Another pretty heavy one. 121 and a 164 score. And given the fact that we spooked all them, I think now will be a good time to probably cross the river and just kind of get away so we're not getting more grunts from them and spending time calling in deer that we've seen. This guy never made a sound the entire time we're in that tree stand and then we're almost 200 meters away and then he finally decides to call. He's another pretty decent buck. I would predict he's in that same score area and we just got so lucky that he even dropped right as we took the shot he took a step or two forward. I'm gonna say that's one of those like spine two, spine three shots or something in that area, but I mean, that's two pretty nice bucks in this area. We'll take a look and see. This guy could be better scoring because the 189 did have a sticker. Spine two, liver intestine, in fact, to drop him and 181 this time, so a couple of 180s. Now, you may have noticed throughout this hunt so far that 
We are in single player. The chat has not popped up for any of our shots fired or our harvest. And the reason for that is the grizzly bear comp that we entered. And that is a pretty good one. Max weight estimate. I'm pretty sure the score can go up to 28 because we have a 27 plus. And in classic, if you're not familiar with it, you don't see score estimates where it goes to 27 and it scores, say, 27.1 the best you'd probably get is 26.9999 so this guy while he's not going to be absolutely giant has pretty good odds of being big and the competition is just simply for the biggest ones so i'd like him to stand still again they are a little bit tough as are all bear species in classic they just have a weird hitbox and i i would bet that we got intestines on that for some reason the lungs basically end like at the back of the shoulder and i would say we need to aim a little farther forward but he did just drop so that might be a good chance at making top three i didn't even look at the top three entries but i would assume something like a grizzly bear is a less hunted animal for competitions than the deer species and we actually did get lung heart blood as well so nice to know that our shot placement was good i would love to see 26 plus on this i think 25 plus would give us some odds 314 low end of that weight 24.1 man i was really hoping to see something better than that it's already below the top three when we had 310 to 360 kg i was really hopeful and there are species where the weight doesn't seem to matter as much like getting really heavy grizzly bears does not mean really high scoring ones and most of the bear species are that way but man i wanted to see just a little bit better i, I thought we might have had a competition medal with that one my goodness, I was just getting ready to check the map. I was basically going to place a tent in this area, and as I mentioned all the way back at the beginning, that had been my plan, and I mean, you can see I've been all through back and forth up here in the mountains, and there's been no puma sign. Not a track, not a call, nothing to go off, not even one of the uh, calls that they make that you can't actually ID with the hunter mate, but finally we have one. We're going to try to scoot in maybe like 50 meters. I've had some difficulty calling them if I just set down the collar right away. And in an ideal world, we'll just be able to see it. But I, I don't know that we're in the best place to do that. So we might scoot forward to the edge here. And I just hope we can get it. The competition for them is just the heaviest one. So maybe we have a chance. I don't even know male or female, but fingers crossed. That's our Puma kind of close range it might be taking a risk trying to spot it kind of thought it was a female didn't look like it was that special but i am just glad to actually see one hopefully we can get a shot i'm worried about the hitbox of those rocks as long as it doesn't take off that little maneuver it did there kind of worried me but is it gonna come over the rocks i don't know where it just went oh there it is all right shot in there really worried me that might have gotten away the plan when i came up here an hour ago or however long ago it was had been to hopefully get a puma early on often by fast traveling to this particular tent one will call like within that uh call radius and i was hoping to maybe end up with another one in that process that obviously did not happen and yeah just getting one puma at this point will be good enough and curious where this is going to put us right now in 11th obviously we would need a male to have any decent odds but maybe and you know we've been up here long enough it might not mean anything but maybe that's a bit of a sign that placing a tent in this area for puma wouldn't be bad might try to find a little bit better visibility but then after we place that the plan had been to head back down and look for mule deer for just the last little bit and i think we'll go ahead and do that okay that's not what I thought was about to happen. Man, there's a couple of them in here. They never made a sound. I mean, we're in a ptarmigan competition, so my first instinct was to go ahead and drop them. We need the highest weight, I think. That's not going to get us anywhere. I shot a female on the way up through here that was not all that special. Actually, I don't think at 0.4 kg either of those had a chance, but I mean, sure, we'll take some ptarmigan. This is where I wanted to place the tent. I just need a flat spot somewhere. I think this is going to be our spot. The difficulty of even placing a tent in areas like this was really showing up there. 
I don't love the trees kind of clipping through it, but it does give us a pretty good view of everything all around. I actually had a tent somewhere in this general vicinity at one point, but ended up, I guess, taking it to another map. But now that the tent limit has been increased and we got that tent from the missions, we'll have that as maybe a feature spot for Puma, Ptarmigan, and of course Bighorn if they are around. But I think we'll kind of head back down and maybe see if one of our spots is a better mule deer hanging out in it than it did earlier. In a rather unexpected twist, another Puma called. It's a female again, unfortunately, but we're definitely still going to go ahead and take it. It's a rare opportunity, at least for me, to run into more than one in one hunt. So we're gonna go and grab our collar real quick, but it was down to not being able to fast travel just yet that kind of just forced me to continue moving in one direction and I decided to kind of move down towards this particular area north of the Western Lodge. It's good for wolves and I have tracked a couple of Pumas through here before. So it was basically hoping for the best. I hit like literally two tracks and it actually called out so that worked out well. Bit of variety there too. The last one was a dark red. This time a common, obviously 12 score again as most of the female Pumas are and I mean, that one was not only bigger, but big enough to jump us one place. But anyway, I don't predict we're going to be seeing many more of them. I think we'll fast travel here. And what we need to remember to do is switch back to the proper camo. Eh, doe call is not what I was hoping to hear, but there might be some bucks around too. Man, unfortunately, much like the Puma hunt, it's been pretty slow going for deer. And when this red wolf stepped out, Pretty solid estimate, 15 to 17, and it looks like a big hit on him. I think it's time to take that shot and wrap up here. I mean, we've covered a lot of ground since fast traveling back down into kind of mule deer territory. We're gonna cross easily 18,000 meters by the time we're done here. And I mean, that wolf might be 16 plus. The weight doesn't give me a lot of encouragement, but again, it is down to the skull size and if he goes over 16 by much at all, I may actually consider making that into a skull to put in our trophy lodge. We've gotten plenty of bigger wolves, but you actually can't convert like an old mount into a skull. It would have to be a new one. So this might be a placeholder, but we'll just have to see what he scores. I will say up close as well, he does look like he has a good sized skull. So fingers crossed for that to correlate to a good score. 15.8 ain't bad. I don't think it's worth actually putting in the trophy lodge though. I feel like we can do better if we really try, but man, I felt like when we came out here, we had a decent shot at getting a mule deer that could maybe place in that comp. Nothing really even that close to 200. That grizzly bear I thought was going to give us a shot. When we had two separate pumas call, even for both of those, I thought maybe we could get a male and place, but just no such luck out here on Timberwolf today. But I definitely think we'll be back. Some of those trophies, the, the mule deer, the puma, I think would be really cool. They're ones that I want to get, and eventually, if we want to get a trophy of everything, we are going to have to come back. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.